there when I was eight years old. I was um, at my friend's birthday party and there was an announcement on the tannoy, Tom Swindell, can you come to reception? My friend's mum picked me up and said, oh, we've got to go to the hospital. And she was, oh, there's some, you know, your brother, there's some situation with your brother. The second we got to the hospital, I could see my parents at the door of the hospital. It turned out that um, a couple of hours before, my mum went to call my brother for, um, for food. And she went out to the garden and he was um, hanging on, on, on a rope swing. He was only 10 years old. So it's something to me in my life. So I, I can't form relationships. As I got into my mid-30s, just this pain started to come up, man. I just find myself just crying for like really spontaneously. So that started to really get me down. I've always dealt with this grief alone. I've never reached out for help. Until one day I met a psychiatric doctor who told me that he was traveling to the Amazon to study a plant-based medicine called ayahuasca. His scientific study is looking into how ayahuasca can help people with childhood trauma, so I had to go with him. The Coranderos would say that it's the spirit of the plant that heals you, not the chemistry of it. And so your relationship with the spirit is the most important aspect of the healing process. And ayahuasca provides this experience that goes beyond meditation, beyond visualization, beyond intention. I'd like to open up to those memories and address things properly now that I'm an adult, so I can move on with my life, so that I can be at peace. <laughs>